In this video, I'm going to look at a past exam question that deals with the intermolecular forces between the group 6 hydrides and how we can use these to explain the trend in their boiling points. So there's the question there. So if you want to pause the video, have a go, and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So we'll start by looking at the types of intermolecular force that exist between the molecules. And obviously these have got to be broken to boil the substance. So between H2O molecules, we've got hydrogen bonding, and that's because we've got an H directly bonded to an O, so a highly electronegative atom. And we've also got London forces. And obviously London forces exist between all of the molecules because they are linked to electrons moving around uh, the molecule and their uneven distribution at any time creates um, induced dipoles between the molecules. So all molecules have London forces between them. These three molecules will have permanent dipole-dipole forces between them and that's because they are polar molecules. So they have a permanent dipole in the molecule. Um, but we can't class them as hydrogen bonding because the um, group 6 atom isn't electronegative enough. So these are just permanent dipole-dipole interactions. And of course they've got London forces as well because they're made from electrons. So we can see from the graph that water has, or H2O, has the highest boiling point, and that's because the hydrogen bonding is the strongest intermolecular force um, involved in these molecules. It gets potentially tricky now because we might be thinking that these are increasing because the permanent dipole, permanent dipole interactions are increasing. Now that's not the case because as you go down any group in the periodic table, the electronegativity values actually decrease. And so therefore the sort of um, the strength of the dipole in the molecule, they're actually be getting less pole of these molecules. So this permanent dipole dipole interaction is actually getting weaker. So the increase in boiling point has got to be due to the strength of the London forces. The number of electrons in the molecules is increasing as you go down the group, and so therefore the strength of the London force is increasing, and that means more energy is needed to overcome them. So something like this will be fine. The increase in boiling point for H2S to H2TE is due to the increase in strength of the London forces, and that's due to the increasing number of electrons in the molecules. 